Welcome back to another episode of The Playbook here on the Boise Beat. As always, I got my boy Chris Webb with me, Badagoon. Yeah. I got my boy Hondo Rondo. And I got, my boy, <laughs> I got my boy, I got my boy Earn Balls, <laughs> special guest. Oh Ernie. my gosh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, we had a, we've had a very last few crazy days of the NBA. Ernie got the T-Wolves jersey on with him since the T-Wolves game was a few days ago. We'll kick it to you first, Ernie. What did you see in that game, baby? All right, didn't you choose the Nuggets to win? Oh, we starting it off hot. Oh, uh, I'm just checking. I'm just checking the records. Oh no, I I did, I did. I mean, it's hard to knock off MVP defending champ. I uh, I like to take a realistic approach as opposed to a biased approach. So, yeah, I picked <laughs> the Nuggets. But let me tell you something. The jersey on the number says it all. <laughs> Big Purr came to play, and he said, "Who is the MVP? Who is the MVP?" <laughs> Man, all I got to say is that game defines Minnesota, does it not? I mean, just huge performance on the defensive end. And, man, what a game for Big Per, like I said. I think this game defines his legacy. I really do think it's one of those big games where somebody earns major props because not only is it in the playoffs, this is the guy that we all talk about one-on-one who's stopping him. Well, the answer was number 32 for the Wolves. Man, that's a pretty ballsy statement right there. <laughs> uh, Coming come from the boy Cat, because Cat was struggling in the first half. I will say this. When I was watching the first half, I, all I saw, because they were getting their butts whooped, I saw Mike Conley was nowhere to be found. And when he was, he airballed a few threes. You got Cat looked soft out there. Gobert, he just looked like Gobert. And Anthony Edwards is getting double teamed. And uh-huh. and then you come to the second half, and it was a complete flip of the script. I mean, Cat got going. But, I mean, dogs. That's what we're talking about in the playoffs. Dogs, you got the guy, Nas Reed, the unsung hero right there on the T-Wolves. That guy, Nas Reed, dog. a dog. Yep. Cat got into some foul trouble. And Nas Reed came in and handled the rest. Hondo Rondo, what you got to say about Nas Reed over there? Nothing. I didn't, well, I didn't really watch the game. I just know Aunt Edwards was throwing now um, um, tour dates out there, you know what I mean? But I will give him credit in the second half. He did blink at Jamal Murray. So I'll give him that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah, I really. I was doing festival things, so yeah, I I did pay attention. I just know that teams being up fifteen zero were twenty two and zero before mm-hmm. the Wolves turned it around, and you got to yeah, give them applause. Game seven. You got it. You got to give them a a big hand, a big round of applause. You know they they did what they needed to do in the second half. Like I said, I give a uh, I give a uh, Aunt Edwards his his flowers. For shutting down Jamal, I think after Jamal put up twenty three in the first half, so yep. Put and we respect. talked about it. Put some respect yeah. on their names, bro. Put them. Put some respect, bro. For sure. I mean, Hold this down. is the T Wolves' identity, man. They're just a bunch of dogs, and we talked about before too. The key to stopping the Nuggets is just you know you got you can let Jokic get going because that's inevitable, but you got to be able to stop Jamal Murray. And the first half, it looked like it was just a done deal. Signed and delivered, and T Wolves came out the second half like a completely different team. Yes, sir. But a good... I'd like, well, let, can I intervene real quick? Second, yes. Sorry, that I just like to point out a few things that are being slightly dusted under the rug. So, <clears throat> yeah, uh, like I said, I I was watching the game, and you are right. We started off slow, and Hondo Rondo is also correct. Anthony Edwards was, you know, he was getting clamped in the first half. But there was mm-hmm. one dude on Minnesota that kind of kept us afloat and gave us a chance, or else it would have been good night. Once again, the number is on the jersey, guys. I mean, I, <laughs> if we all saw the same game. There was one dude on Minnesota. This that guy sounds like off. Pat Bev when they won the playing game, man. Congratulations. You had one good <laughs> playoff game. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> wow. Champs. I, I just, I just, well, I wouldn't champs. say, I mean, well. I, yeah, you'd like to, you know, you say one game, it's a series. You're downplaying it a little bit. Defending champs. We MVP. just took out the MVP four games out of seven. I wouldn't say last it's just time. one game. I wouldn't say it's one game. Hey. Building. Go ahead. Last time I checked, JT dropped 50 on the reigning MVP as like, well last year, and no one gave him any props. Wait, is that the same right. dude that has the NBA record for the most turnover in the playoff series? Is that same JT? That's the same JT that's been the sixth Eastern Conference Finals. Yes, sir. How many Put some respect right. on his name. No, no, you're right. How same JT. Hey, he's that's got the same game. amount as the Pelicans over there as a franchise. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, Sit down, boy. Sit down, boy. What Sit down, boy. Do? What does it have to Sit do? Sit down, boy. I'm just saying. No, You're right. It does it. The Pelicans aren't the even in the playoffs. The whole time the Wolves are in the playing. The let the big boys talk. Let the big boys JT talk. Your team's this. out JT already, bro. Done that. Let the big boys. Let the big boys talk. Talking Your about? team's what out already. What does he have to do? Nothing. Nothing. It don't mean nothing. That was last year. Don't mean nothing. Guess who came to play? At the in the guard, you know, you know, JT, right. you JT, know what? they did. Guess who hit the final shot? <laughs> hey, JT, hey, you know, you know, what? You know what? You're, you're absolute, what? You're absolutely, you're absolutely right. But JT just had 36 saying. and 11 tonight, so miss me with the disrespect. Yeah, yeah he didn't have hey. the greatest though. Hey, uh, we saw a little sneak peek, Ernie, but let, let's see what you got there on uh on your what play you sheet over there. My play, play sheet you got over there. Oh no, these yeah. are just my notes that I was. I wanted to go through some of them. <laughs> Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. I don't know how that slipped in there. But now that it's out here, yeah, I mean, I don't know how who made that. But... Okay. I don't I know how that's... that got in there. Sorry, guys. I think that's Photoshopped because that would never happen. Sorry. But... No, it, well, uh, it's, don't go in there with me, Alan, because I got Ooh. the receipts. That, that, there's inspiration yeah. behind that drawing. Let me tell you that. Yeah. Oh, you, you mean the what? Like, you mean the one that JB has over the defending, reigning, defensive player of the year? That's right. That goofball. That, that you have that one up there. I haven't seen it. Oh, know. you better go look it up because yeah, yeah, that one's real. You need to refresh your memory on that one because that yeah. boy is seven foot something. He got dunked on by Jalen Brown. He even yeah, stepped I over him a little bit. Disrespectful. I, I forgot about it. So must have not mm. been that good. Right. It's time to check back in on it. I think it might it's probably top five dunks of the year. Yeah. But speaking of JB, let's get into it. Cause tonight the Celtics were in a, a dog fight with Indiana, who loves to push the pace. Very crazy game. They looked out of it until JB made a play to knock the ball out of Siakam's hands. Goes out on Siakam and then hits the three pointer to send it to OT. And the Celtics go on to win it, 132-125. After not having uh, many close games this whole playoff run, that was been the, the dig at the Celtics, saying that they can't win close games because uh, they've been blowing teams out. But real good game here tonight. I think they, they proved a lot. Buttergoon, what do you see? Um, I mean, it, I, I was shocked, not going to lie. I thought the Celtics would uh... – kind of blow them out of the water, kind of do what they've been doing. Um, but mm-hmm. this playoff basketball, baby, you know, the Pacers came to play. You know, they pushed the pace. They were shooting well. Um, mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know. Well, I, I'm excited to see if this can continue. Um, hopefully it doesn't just, you know, this isn't just kind of like a one-off game in the series and the Celtics go out and just kind of trample them up. But mm-hmm. I'd like to see some uh, competitiveness in the series, and it we got that tonight. So, we'll see, baby. I mean, they can keep shooting like that, and if they can limit – um, some of those turnovers. Also, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, they were kind of getting hoed. They should have got more free throw attempts. You know, um, I think they had like six as a team. I think that's what we said, six or seven. Yeah. And that's that's crazy. I think Tatum alone had like eight. So, I mean, I, I get it. It's just, you know, they they got to get some more calls. There's some more free throw attempts. Just Maybe just be them. a little bit more aggressive going to the rack. <laughs> Maybe that will help, but I'm just saying. We're fouling them. Yeah, hey, Dude, there's TJ, times they missed calls. TJ McCon- there, TJ McConnell was literally hugging him. On Tatum, but they said, "Nah, let him go to the rack." TJ McConnell was literally hanging. TJ McConnell was literally hanging on. That was a foul, but they also called that him. earlier because uh, what's his name, number like number two on page or whatever, Mem Smith or something like that. He was he was hooked his arm and everything. That should have been a dead ball foul right there. Retake it. No, they said, "Nah, he fell down. Let let Tatum go to the rack. Get him an and one." 
You know, I'm just saying, <laughs> just look a little fishy. Just look a little fishy. That's all I'm saying. Hey, the, That's all I'm saying. The free, throw dis- the free throw disparity definitely was a little crazy. I mean, they were letting them play for the most part. But the Celtics, I, I will say this, though. They were playing some good defense while not getting out of control with it. I would. I don't want to say it was too crazy, you know, to the Yo, point, but definitely the free throw disparity. You definitely want to, you know, put some exclamation points anytime you see that in a game. Pacer, I understand. Pacer shot, Pacer shot 10 free throws, Celtics had 30. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. That's some Lakers type stuff, bro. Yeah, that's some that, Lakers, the Lakers get stuff. that all the time. That's I get not, it. Celtics, that's, that's crazy. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, Celtics never usually get calls. They never get calls. This is like a one off for them. And I just want to say the Pacers, everybody wrote them off saying they did not stand a chance in this series. And here they are. They're swinging first this game. They punched the Celtics in the mouth. Celtics, honestly, pretty forcing to get out of this one with the W. It's got to be super demoralizing for the Pacers to know that they're outmatched and have a game in Boston they should have won. And to walk out there with the loss, I think it's very demoralizing for them. Hondo Rondo, does this change your opinion on how many games this series goes? No, I'm doubling down on Celtics and five, and here's why. I just keep bringing back games from the past. This game kind of reminded me of that one um, game one finals game when LeBron had 50 and JR ruined it. Um, mm, yeah. You know, they, they had a chance to steal game one, shock the, shock the Warriors a little bit, give them, get them into a funk, and uh, they just blew it. And that's exactly what the Pacers did. Don't know why you don't foul when you're up three, you know, send them. Yeah. Just play the free throw game at that point. But um, JB's fucking got ice in his veins, you know. Uh, Drew Holiday was huge tonight. Biggest concern I see, though, is we need KP back. Al Horford's mm-hmm. getting cooked out there. The poor old yeah. man can't stay in front They're of him. Isolating him now. Yeah. yeah. They I, I felt bad for him. He's just getting bucket after yeah. bucket on him, and no, no one could do anything for him. And hey, then I kept, wa- I kept watching. I did watch a lot of their defensive possessions. He kept trying to switch with people, and they just kept switching to finally get onto him, and it was just yeah. barbecue chicken out there looking like me on urn in the paint. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I I still think it's Celtics and five. I think they uh, – I think they, like Chris said, they – Demoral get or it was out. I think it, it was out. You're all right. Demoralize them. They gave them a little, mm-hmm. a little low boost because yeah, they should have stole game one and one. Yeah, that was huge. I mean, you want to get one on the road against the team that's better than you. That's huge right there. And they did attack Warford all fourth quarter. They just kept switching on in mid mid range shots. You know, like they were just attacking Horford, and obviously somebody needs to piss him off because when Al Horford is pissed off, he's a completely different player. Oh, and the biggest thing, too, is people don't realize that the Pacers were on track before the All-Star break to be in the top five net rating, net rating all time as well. Oh, yeah, that's like, right. They were in front of the Celtics for yeah. most of the year. Like, they've got a good offense. Yeah. And, they and, the... and it, show, it showed tonight. I mean, they were down 10-plus three different times tonight, and they, they came back. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, the Celtics got away with this one. It was a game of runs. I mean, Celtics start off 12-0. Pacers get right back into it. And then they got another big lead in the third quarter, and the Pacers got right back again. And that's when I was like, ooh, this is going to be a lot better series than I had previously thought. And, you know, we might be in for a big-time show. Halliburton, some big-time turnovers late, something you can't have from your best player. Drew Holiday um, locked them up. Drew Holiday locking them up. Earn balls. What do you have to say about – uh? Ando posting you up in the paint. Uh, he said something about barbecue chicken. I don't know if it has to do with cooking. I can tell you he's in the kitchen, not on the court. Cause <laughs> I don't know, but if you guys have ever seen, I haven't seen him cook anything on the court other than just what devil day. He's coming from a guy that gets left wide open in the layup line. <laughs> so. So, I, <laughs> I I have footage of I know you have seen the Jason Terry alley oop. Mm-hmm. I've put Honda in that position where I'm LeBron. <laughs> I have footage. <laughs> I have footage. I can bring. Can we get that producers? Can we get the? Fo- They're looking for it. I have my All producers right. working right now. They're looking. Right. For it. 
Okay. We'll be sure to put that up on the screen when you when you get that sent over. Yep. Yep. We're working on it. Yeah. Producer just messaged. He said he's working on it. Earn boss. Okay. Here we go. All right, Ernie. Uh, I mean, there was a few other series. Obviously, the Pacers series closed out against the Knicks, but the Hospital mix. We know that was a tough one. I mean, Game Seven. It's in New York, but Brunson, their best player, one of the best in the playoffs this year, is hurt. You know, they they squeak out of there. And then the Mavs, obviously, they got to finish the Thunder in six, which is pretty big. You know, Luka looking good. P.J. Washington, dog, nine points in the last six minutes. Um, Pacers got a dog, too, T.J. McConnell. But, I mean, everybody's got their eyes. <laughs> Self-declared. On... Self-declared. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, he owns but... it, dude. <laughs> he owns it. <laughs> but, like, everybody's focused on this. Like, everyone's kind of already planning for Celtics T-Wolves. I mean, obviously, the Celtics Pacers series might be a lot closer than we're thinking. And T-Wolves still got to get through the Mavs. But, er- Ernie, do you, you think you see a, a T-Wolves-Celtics finals matchup? In all honesty, I think I do. Mainly because uh, I think we match up so well versus the Mavs. I think and yeah. called it. He said, I got Kyrie, and I don't even think that's a secret. He's going to go out there. He's going to guard Kyrie. And I think Jaden McDaniel is going to guard Luka, which, I mean, we all know Luka has incredible skill. But one thing he has over most defenders is the size advantage. Jaden McDaniel is a little bit longer defender. You know, he's one of those lanky dudes. And I think that's going to suffocate him at points. And on top of that, Pop said it last week. Luka's hurt. Just ask him. Man. He don't want to mm-hmm. be out. He's not going to want to be out. You saw what we did to Jamal. You know, Luka's not going to like that. It's three grueling series. He's played some great defenders. You know, he yeah. got all of it against the Clippers. Mm-hmm. Then he got all of Lou Dort. Then he's going to be going against yeah. Jamie Dan. He's he's he'd be getting that. He'll pause, it, but you know, <laughs> pause. It, it takes a toll on you. We talked about this, like the importance of getting out of series quick. You know, and the the toll that it takes on you getting through tough series. You know, that's why the Celtics has been a super big advantage for them to get out in five each series get some rest before the next one. And then obviously, you know, less competition in the East, big advantage for them. They can be more fresh if they can get, make a trip to the finals. Hondo Rondo, you look like you got something to say over there. You see a Celtics T-Wolves matchup? I mean, I've been wrong in the West all year. So, um, no surprise. <laughs> I could sit here and say, I could sit here and say the Wolves are going to go and then the Mavericks upset. Yeah, the disrespect, you know, but it is what it is. What? Wait, um, what? But uh, yeah, I mean, if Kyrie, I don't know if Kyrie and um, Luca can go nuclear, then they've got a shot. But yeah, it all depends on Luca. Um, I definitely you- think Luca can abuse Rudy Gobert or Kev if they decide they want to isolate him, but. Yeah, um, I was just about to ask you about that. Do you see uh, Jaden McDaniel shutting down Luca? No, I mean, no, like, like, oh. uh, Holy like, that was uh, a loud no. Hold on, like, what? um, the cl- I mean, he got the Clippers throwing at him. He got OKC throwing at him. Both good defenders, defensive teams, good defenders beat on his up. team. You know, and up. yeah, he's beat up for sure. But he got some little rest. He got a little rest. He'll be all right. Um. But like I said, I've been wrong. I chose the Nuggets to win Game Seven, mm-hmm. and it was looking mm-hmm. good for a half. And like I said, I give props to Ant. He freaking he put a blanket on Jamal, and uh, you like I that turnaround I think it, by Rudy? I think I think it's gonna be a six game series, <laughs> in either way. Yeah, I mean the turnover from half to half was was insane because like the. T Wolves look completely out of it. They're playing in Denver. You know, it looked like the game was just over. And then the second half, complete script flipped. Like, like we were saying, you know, Cat looks soft first half. All of a sudden he's coming out there. He got into foul trouble. Nasri came in and cleaned it up for him. But and saved Cat's ass, really. But Gobert throwing shots out of his ass. Like, Gobert's not a turnaround jump shooter. But he was hitting crazy shots. I mean, when Gobert hits a shot like that, you just know you're done for. It's like it's not your night. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see. I'd love to see the matchup of Gobert and Cat against 
Tatum and Porzingis, the way Porzingis stretches the floor. Butagoon, what do you think of that matchup? I mean, if uh, if that is the matchup we see, I mean, it'll be interesting. I've I've been telling Ern if they get to that point, I I truly think you gotta think about sitting Rudy on the bench and bringing out Nas Reed because he's just more more mobile, and he yeah. can probably keep up with poor or with Tatum or Porzingis. Um, and I mean, if Cat can keep playing defense like he has been, you know, if he's continuing to add that tier of defense, um, wait, we'll wait, I mean that. No. Sorry, because cat on Tatum, because cat on Tatum is barbecue chicken, and you're not gonna sit here and tell me otherwise. I mean, by all means. I mean, yeah. What are you gonna say, Aaron? What are you, I mean, he's close? the people's man. Let him, let him go. I mean, I mean, you're talking about the guy that was just guarded KD to a sweep, and then he just guarded oh. the MVP, and you think somebody who hasn't won an MVP or hasn't it been ended in top five MVP discussion ever? You think? That's going to be where the, he draws the line. I don't understand. Like, let's I make it make it's sense. Funny. I think it's funny. Like I said, JT dropped 50 in the closeout game against the MVP of last year. Two JT years also back, has no MVPs. That he went, he we went, and he went head to head with the defending champion, reigning MVP, and Giannis in his home. And, and, went and that's fine, but that's one. like a one game. It, where he here's the thing, points. dude. Here's, if we're talking about one, one game. game that, Hey, one game. Well, you go look you up. Dropped. Hey, go well, look up the records, buddy. He's got a lot of those games. Okay. Tatum did shut down KD two in the playoffs before. Yeah. Um, don't you forget about that. A, yeah, he swept. Oh, that's oh, okay. the same. Okay. That's right, the right, same right, series. Right, right, like, hey, that's right, the right, same wait, wait, series. Wait. You said the Celtics should be scared because they got wait, wait, Kyrie and okay. KD, and we went out there and swept them. Right. Okay. So if Tatum locked him down, then let's give Cat. <laughs> this props for locking Katie down. Uh, you know, you guys are saying it like, you know. When did I not give him props? But anyways, like I said, I mean, Cat just got Dan Gardner MVP. Tatum's no MVP. I mean, what are we even talking about? Yeah, Cat had help from Rudy Gobert. No, he did it. Reed. No, he did uh, You yes, watched that did. game. You watched that game. Sorry, one game. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, it's a whole series. I mean, you saw what Rudy tried to do. It, it is a whole series. Him. It is a whole series. Wait, <laughs> well, didn't it? <laughs> Didn't you Joker drop thirty last night? Anyways, or two nights ago? I he think still the Joker thirty. I think the Joker's home in the world. Oh no, he's home. He's in though. Serbia. He's he's petting What's his horse? horses for sure. But I'm pretty sure he still and got his against, on? and I'm still sure he got his though. Yeah, but where did that lead him to? Like you said, it's not his fault. His, his other team. His other his team didn't show up. Uh, so now, it's Jr. now it's his team. Now it's his team. How, see what I how mean? are you gonna win two on five? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. I mean, but uh, I don't, regardless, I mean, I think that's kind of a cat can do it. I think he can. Yeah, do like it. I, I said, to we'll say see. for you to say that absolutely no can. Go watch the yeah, tape. Just, Go watch the tape of the last two games we played. You guys, yeah, we we were one and one. But yeah. anytime cats on JT, he cooked them. I don't. By know, the way, J. Hey, 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 and by the way, hey, and by the way, and by the way, and by the way, JT is averaging thirty-five plus against you guys. So to say you guys are going to somewhat stop him, yeah, right. Give me a break. What did you say our record was versus you, though? You just said it's one and one. So, so I mean, he can score thirty-five and still lose. Is what you're telling me. And JT is dropping thirty-five, and he can still lose. Like how you just yeah. said, one and one. We didn't have KP. Oh, uh, so now it's another. Come See, on, yeah, dude. Give me KP. Yeah, give me KP. Yeah, yeah. This, this is really getting ridiculous <laughs> at some point. It really is. It really is. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me, out here. I, I want to get this out here because Cat, he has surprised me. I mean, I've been waiting for him to take the next step, and this last series definitely looked like he has. Obviously, everyone's known for a while now. Cat has all the talent in the world and should be one of the best big men in the league. He has not shown it to that next level up until this last series. Definitely stepped up big time. And I want to get that clear. Cat, he is a great player. But I do not think he has lateral movement and the the ability to guard Tatum. I think that's just a mismatch. It's a – you know (laughs) – we look at it, and I will concede that Tatum is – he's different than the Jokic. Uh, is he much different than Kevin Durant now? Yes, because Kevin Durant's more of a, a straight shooter type thing. You know, Tatum, what he has and what he could get into 
he could give Cat trouble if he drives a lot because we know Cat's notorious with the fouls. And that's the only way I really see that matchup going south. Other than that, I just – like how you said, in all reality, our defense stems from our team defense. So even if Cat is the primary defender on Tatum, I mean, you got – and and McDaniel's guarding the perimeter up top, and you got Rudy Gobert waiting him, waiting for him down below. So, will we see the isolation? Eh, maybe, sort of. I think you, if there's any sort of isolation, it it's gonna be Gobert. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Everybody does it, and then I think that's where the troubles start. I don't think Rudy, like how Werby said, I don't think he can guard anybody on your starting five. I really don't. Mm-hmm. That's why you got to bring him off the bench, bro. He, he'll be mm-hmm. a straight up liability out there, and you can't have you can't have that. It, the, what, also, yeah. it's crazy, you know. Defensive MVP considered a liability in my eyes, but you know, whatever. A lot of people say that too, yeah. bro. It, but I think I think that's what I mean. They could do it. I mean, I'm I'm not saying it would be effective. I'm not saying Tatum's not going to get his, but if you have to force him to continue to make decisions and just, I mean, maybe you live with that. Because, I mean, they were forcing Jokic to make all the decisions, and sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. And it ended up working enough for them to win the series. Right. And everybody was saying that the West runs through the Nuggets. I mean, I was saying it. Everybody was saying it through all year. I mean, they're the defending champs for a reason. Right. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I think I think they have a good chance. I mean, but they still have to get through the Mavs. I do think they match up well against them. And, obviously, the Celtics have to get through the Pacers. They, they should win that series handedly, but – you never know. It's playoff basketball, baby. You never know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as as far as the KD point, KD in Phoenix has been turned into a, a spot up shooter, just kind of sit in the corner. Mm-hmm. He's even come out and said that over the last month or so. That's why they fired their head coach. You know, yep. a lot of firings going around, but but yeah, as far as you're saying, they match up well with the Mavs. I don't think they have the overall firepower. I think everyone's known it that it's kind of a, a, a surprise they've gotten this far. I mean, with Luca and Kyrie just taking turns, you don't really see that lasting against a, a team that's well-rounded like the T-Wolves. And the Pacers, the way they push the ball, it's going to make for a real good series against the Celtics. You know, it's really going to test them. So, a good matchup, especially if we do see T-Wolves-Celtics. It's hard not to talk about it, even though it's not here. But, I mean, they match up super well. I mean, you got the T-Wolves, one of the best defenses in the league. And people have forgot how good the Celtics defense is, too. I mean, they got two guys that were on the, the second team all defense. And they should have had a third with Jalen Brown. He got he – got, um, he got the robbed. position list really robbed a lot of people. I think I think really if you think about it, man, like that they starter five. Every... That starting five could have gotten an award. I mean, let's be real. But they could have gave them all something. I Well, but it's not going to happen because it's just not – uh, how realistic, I guess, but the Wolves I mean, had uh, the runner up coach of the year, three all stars, defensive player of the year. I think I don't understand why you're giving Wolves the props all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, just, people, are, hey, they're not, they're not a super team, but we're not, their, we, we're, their we're, accolades, their accolades say otherwise. Right, you gonna hate on somebody yeah. wait, wait, from the right wait, wait. way, bro. You this is crazy, team, though. Nobody was saying the T Wolves. That's crazy. Nobody. We were That's dubbed crazy. as we had the That's worst crazy. trade in NBA history, and you're telling me that same team turned out to be a super team. I'm not. I'm just saying that's what the actually. Wait, you said. just said it. What do you mean? Hey, no, but they're not. rewarding them like they are, which he's got a point. They are giving them all kinds of work. And let's be honest here. Let's get this out of the way. The elephant in the room. Gobert, and we're even talking about him as a liability. He oh. would not have got Defensive Player of the Year if he didn't cry about it. The way Embiid cried about the MVP, and they gave mm-hmm. it to him. We That's all know Wembenyama. Wembenyama should have got the MVP. He beat him in just about every category defensively yep. this year, and Except just made no team sense. Team defensive rating, and team defensive games. rating. So team defensive rating, and also a team stat. But also, when you come into the paint, no one fears go bear the way they fear Wembenyama. Look, the guys like I said before. Team. Like I said before. We crapped on Gobert before when he was in Utah because he was the mm-hmm. defensive player of the year, but couldn't stop anyone. He got That's a better support. He got a better supporting cast around him. He's still a defensive mm-hmm. player of the year. Looks a lot better. But he's got a bunch of yeah. dogs around him now compared to when he was in Utah. He's still yeah. the same guy. Right. You go right. isolate him, it's over. 
But mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's a super it. team because of that. I, you you I'm, broke I'm, it down for me perfectly. I didn't even have to say a word. You well, just broke it down like I said, hey, like I said, I just broke it down. You guys got the accolades to show that you're being awarded like a super team. But that's what that's what I don't understand. Go ahead, hey, go that's ahead, open. hey, go. Go ahead and say it. Talk about the mighty Boston Celtics you love to bring up. Go ahead. Well, I'm actually want to talk about my team. <laughs> Dude, this guy's crazy. But this guy's like crazy. I said, like this I said, Rudy crazy. came over here I see with his, point. his defensive I see his awards point. already, which is why I don't understand. He came over here with his defensive. You keep saying the accolades point to this, that. That's like looking at a box score at the end of a game. Like you're taking it out of context. You're just looking at things. You're not really looking at it in depth. Like you can't sit here and tell How me. How am I not looking in depth? I just told you what was happening. That he had better players around him, right? Mm -hmm. They yeah, did that's, get that's what we're they saying. did get some awards, and but two, all we're saying is two other all stars around him. Yeah, there's two a, co a coach of the year runner up around him. Wait, I don't understand what 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 are we talking about? Like that, like what I'm saying, the T Wolves were a surprise this year, is what I'm telling you. Like exactly. you looked at and the I'm start of the season, I'm, you looked at starting you. five versus starting five, and you would have told me who's going further in the playoffs. Everybody has Boston winning it all for the past Not three true. years. Let's be Not honest. True. Look at the Vegas Not true. odds. Just I, go I look at hey, just go look at the large media outlets. Everyone's picking the Wolves over the Celtics already. So yeah, you can say That's what you true. want. Everybody awarded the Wolves the the trophy as soon as they already yeah, gave well, them the okay, trophy well, after beating the Nuggets. This. Let me ask you, big Celtics guys, this at the start of the right, season, almost every year, who is the favorite to win the title? Not the, the Celtics, the and I can tell you that right now. That's we can bring up the receipts. Yes, I can bring up the receipts. It was the Boston. Boston Celtics. No, they weren't, and we can it's, bring up the receipts. Bring them up as far as as far as like the odds set by the bookies. It was like yeah. But as far as like what everybody is Thank saying, you. Thank everywhere you. That's else, all we need. That's all we need. Well, like everywhere else, because like the bookies, they're, the bookies are going to set that anyways because they believe that most people are going to like us. People like the Celtics fans are going to bet on them. But let me ask you this. But though. but like at the beginning okay, of the yeah, season, betting. Jay Williams literally said Damian Lillard and Giannis were a better duo than so one um, analyst, Jay's. One analyst two two that. minutes into the two minutes into the season, nobody talked right, about people, this before the year started. Everyone yeah, said, everyone, everyone mentioned last time I checked, everyone team. said that the last time I checked, KP was injury prone, which he is right now, unfortunately. God. But he was going to be the so reason we lost. Wrong with that. Yeah, no, like that everyone was saying exactly. So you just proven my point. So he's hurt. So yeah. that's why they're not favorites. Yeah, like everyone bookies, saying, don't like, get me wrong, bookie. He's always hurt. That's true. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Bookies have had the Celtics all year, but when you when you see. When you see people talking about it, like I said, just on Monday, yesterday, everyone's already giving the Wolves the title over the Celtics. Okay, but let me ask you this. In all honesty, right now in the playoffs, is there a team that's playing better than the Wolves? I mean, you guys said it. We just took out the defending champs. That's like a huge. And, Celtics have. And, and like I said, <laughs> it's not the Celtics' fault. But they've been playing beat up teams. That's why a lot of people are saying that yeah. you guys aren't really and tested yet. So, so basically, so we just got we just the, got we just got tested tonight. I think they oh, did a pretty good job about one it. game versus the Pacers. Whereas yes, and, and hey, and you're right, we have been beating up on a lot of hospital teams. But when you're winning by ten plus, fifteen plus, then yeah, I'd say you're taking care of business on those hospital teams. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing what you're supposed you to do, though, as you should. Exactly. Right. Right. Well, that's, right what, that's what the complaint. So is. what are we? What are we? What are we talking about? So what I'm trying to tell you is that the reason why a lot of people are looking at the wolves now because they just went through war. Well, first off, we slept, we swept the Suns, which. The Suns are probably a better team than any of you guys have played right now up until the playoffs. Bro, I don't That's know about crazy. that. The Suns have That's not crazy. figured it out all I mean, year. Exactly. You but, can say what okay, you okay, want. The, just because of KD? The, just because of KD? It's a, it's, that's what, a generational what is, player. What has what KD done ever since he left the Warriors? That's a generational player, though. What has like, he done since yeah, he left but, the Warriors? Okay, okay. So he's then, just, okay, he's just so, a spot-up so, shooter now, so it's like... Uh, like he's not, it's not KD not using the right way. Okay, yeah, it's not the same KD. But then Bradley we're talking Bill, about Devin Bill. Booker and Bradley Beal. Bradley okay, Beal didn't Bradley do anything. Beal. He, he failed he didn't out. Do anything. He flopped out. He flopped out. We'll give you that. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Let's move on to Booker the next really game. didn't do anything either. 
Okay, even even if you don't want to say that they're a better team or whatever, what player on Indiana are you taking over Kevin Durant right now? Tyrese Halliburton. And I don't think that's true because first off, one's an MVP <laughs> already. <laughs> I mean, what are we talking about? Are you building? Are you talking about building for like the future? You're gonna want to build. You want to no, no, right just now. a player so right team. now. You take one player. I'm not right taking. Now. I'm not taking a 30 year old KD over Tyrese Halliburton. <laughs> that's crazy because if I, KD why not? Why KD, would you? KD is still as an efficient scorer as he's ever been. If you look, like I Halliburton, said, Halliburton's the leading assister in the league. Like Halliburton's also a below, He's a below average three point shooter as well. If you want to look at the stats. He, he averaged. Tw- he just playoffs. hit twenty five and twelve tonight. That's not normal for him. That's if you like follow Tyrese Halliburton, you, that's, he's not known for shooting. Literally teams. before he, the All Star break, people were he saying it was his year to win the MVP. Yeah, and they then, were talking MVP about Halliburton. At all okay, time. and then and then after that break, what? Then yeah, we he got hurt. We all got hurt. Okay, whether he got hurt or not, we're not talking about Tyrese Halliburton anymore. After that happened. Yeah, they had a good run up until the tournament. They beat you guys, and then from there was downhill. Pop City last week, and we all agreed on it. Well, no one's talking about them because they're a small market team. And they're just not that good. (laughs) I mean, let's be honest. Nobody picked the Pacers to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. What are we talking about? I I will say this. I want to say this. Hold on. Real quick. I want to say this. You're saying that the T-Wolves are playing better than the Celtics right now. You can make an argument with that because they played the Nuggets, the defending champs. Obviously, that's probably the the second or third best team in the whole playoffs. Yeah, I'll give you that. But just look at the Celtics' freaking record. They're 9-2 right now in these playoffs. I mean, how can you say that they're you not? Guys, they they should be, the best team right. in the they should be, though. Right, exactly. but I mean, they're, they're taking start, care of like, business. Okay. So they're what taking care of do? business, though. Yeah, do you want them to? Blowing them out. They're blowing out so, teams that they should blow out. Wouldn't you? Yeah, so are we going to can... give credit for the best offensive rated team in the league to blow out or one of the best net efficiency teams in the league to blow out teams that don't have their star players? Like, yeah, we should expect that, right? Right? Well, yeah, but they're doing it. They're exactly doing that. They're blowing yeah, them out. So like, they, they're, they're not doing anything to do we're not by thinking, 30? Yeah, like then why are we how... why why are we giving them crap about playing hospital teams? Yeah, maybe if they were sneaking out in game six or sevens, yeah, then I'd be a little yeah. worried. But they're taking care of business. They're Even doing what five, they need to open. do. Like they they're whooping, they're there. whooping on their teams. They can only do what they can do. You know, they're not like. I'm sorry, they're not winning by one point on buzzer beaters on overtime every single game. But I don't know. After eighty, after eighty two games and winning sixty four of them, I mean their That's credits do. Okay, but, but all, so. Why? Why is their credit due? Because they're a great team, right? They're great. Well, yeah, team. maybe that's what we just. Team. <laughs> they're like, they're not a super team, team though. Hospital teams that they should beat. They're How are they not a sense? How are they a super team? They we had the MVP top five, and they did not have anybody awarded to any other major awards. I mean, they had executive of the year, deservingly so. Brad Stevens, but like besides that, how are they awarded as a super team? They don't yeah, have like, a guy top five MVP voting. Make Awards make super teams. No, right? no, no. I, th- I think you guys 100%. are brushing. I, th- I think you guys are brushing your guys' personnel under the rug because I think the Drew Holiday move is that's huge true. because that's a champion right there. To that's say an addition to Drew Holiday, and he, guess what? This is this is how you know it's a super team. Drew Holiday is their third, fourth, sometimes fifth scoring option on that team. I mean, who, yeah. who? Okay, who can but bring Drew- that to the team? But Drew Holiday's never been a number two option. The last time he was a two option, they lost at seven, and he really didn't do much for his team. Okay, that's an NBA champion. So, and that's probably one of the best, even right now to this day, one of the best defensive players in the league. I'm not saying he's not, but I'm just saying you're sitting here sitting. You're sitting here talking like he was Dwayne Wade and had to take a back seat to LeBron James. And you're acting <laughs> like he's Brian Scalabrini. What are we talking no, about? Brian no, Scalabrini's a champ. Exactly. So, <laughs> so is Drew Holiday. So is Drew Holiday. What are we talking no, about? No, but but listen, like they only had two all stars. And I get it. If you want to say super team or whatnot, you guys can throw that on, I'm sure. I mean, 64 wins. But at the same time, this isn't like they just signed everybody in the offseason and just brought them over. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't done cheaply, like a KD going to the Warriors. And it was made and, moves. 
And that's a okay. huge credit to Boston's front office. It's year 100%. in, year out, they just have good, great, I would say good teams. I mean, every year Boston's relevant, and a big part of that is their GM. Brad Stevens, I don't know how he does it. He just makes these lucrative deals. Like, or just make when that Drew Holiday deal went down, everybody said, hey, he did it again. He yep. did it again, right? I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not wrong about it. Especially Please, you Boston guys would know. He did it again, and he does it year in, year out. And I think we can all agree out of the past years, you guys said it last week, if there's a chance where the Celtics can win it, it's right now. And we agreed to that because one of the team that's put together, you know, guarded that if KP comes back, you know, this is how we're putting it out there. If KP Mm -hmm. comes back and, I mean, again, I'm not here to bash on it. I'm not trying to discredit you guys for beating up on these teams without their superstars, but it's not a hard challenge to beat a team without their best players. And like how you said, it's all about rest. And like I just said, I'm not here to discredit you guys for that. I mean, you play who's in front of you, right? But that's just how it crumbles. And like to other people, they see it as like, geez, like, okay, the Wolves just beat the Nuggets fully healthy. So, damn, they're proven. They're pretty good. They're playing really good basketball right now. But, like, Mm -hmm. to get by a team like the Heat without uh, Jimmy Buckets or Terry Rozier, you don't necessarily have to be that good of a team to beat them. I mean, let's be honest. You guys, yeah. Sorry, instead instead of going in five, it would have been six. Sorry, my bad. And let's be honest. Like, Jimmy Butler and Terry Rozier are not going to win that series this year. This is a different. I, hey, hey, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, you say that, but the Miami Heat beat you when they were an eight seed, so you can't really. They say also the beat. Team they team. also beat. They also beat the number one seeded Milwaukee Bucks. Right. Yeah. So, so, and that was with Jimmy. So to say but, here and say that but with this Jimmy wasn't the same. That's not the same team. That's not the that's same. Not the same though. Celtics team, and that's not the same. No, team. And it's not the same right. Heat team and it's by a mile. Same. Right, because Jimmy Butler ain't on the court, so you don't and. If all things, no, 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 no. What is Jimmy Butler? No, hey, time out, dude. (laughs) Yeah. Towards the end of the year, towards the end of the year, last year when Miami was an eight seed, they were starting to heat up. Towards the end of this year, they were nowhere to be found. Miami actually got a couple games of us in the regular season last year. They didn't beat us at all this year, with or without Jimmy. But like, it Jimmy, does not is, matter. Jimmy is built almost a career of just known for playing better in the Playoff playoffs. Jimmy. But he's oh, yeah, Jimmy. literally, I mean, if you, I'm not making that up. Like every year we talk about, oh, but just wait till they get in the playoffs because this is the same Heat team that everybody writes off until it's. Yeah, but it's like everybody's Jimmy about. this, Jimmy that, playoffs. First off, no rings. And second off, All I heard even, is... if even if he's playing this year with that Miami team, they don't have the guys that were all their role players last year that made him great. And honestly, let's let's be completely honest. They had a historic shooting in that playoff uh, matchup against the Celtics last year. This Celtics team does not has Porzingis and has Holiday, which they didn't have last year. They have Horford coming off the bench. And that Miami team doesn't have all their role players. If Jimmy and Terry Rozier play, I think it still goes six at most. There's no way. All I know is Jimmy was there. right in checks. He couldn't cash. And that's the bottom line. But what I'm telling you is you can't really say definitively that Jimmy wouldn't have made the difference because that's just not what the past has shown. Yeah, he would have. He would have gave him one more game. Yeah. Maybe even took him out in game seven. I don't yeah, know. I doubt that. No chances chances are insane. low. I, I agree with you that's guys. Insane. I Truly, I don't think it would happen. I don't. But I didn't think it would happen when they did it to you guys. I don't think anybody thought they could do it. But they did it. And that's why I'm saying, like, to say that he won't do it again, it's just not true because the past shows differently. It's not. It just can't, dude. Like, it, like we said, they didn't have hey. the same supporting cast. Hey, like I would have told you the same thing. There's no way. I don't know. That dude. team beats the Celtics in seven. I would have told you the same thing until it happened. So to sit here and say Jimmy wouldn't have made that much of a difference, I just he wouldn't have. I don't know. Is it, is it that, maybe Six the games? Are, or... Maybe the games are closer. Yeah, I give you that. The games may be closer, and it's a good matchup through and through. But there's no way Miami's winning that series. I'll tell you right now, it goes Celtics and six. There's no way it even goes seven. The Celtics are a completely different team this year. The way they're built. I mean, last year the Miami took advantage of being able to just sit in the paint and take away our drives. But this year they'd have to bring Bam Adebayo out to guard Porzingis, and they still end up winning without Porzingis. But like this, this year, they have Holiday and Porzingis, like. It's just a completely different team. I think there's no way Jimmy 
wins that. And series. on top of that, close. Derek Y is on a different level this year. And he was see, a see what level. I mean. See, you he guys are talking about level. this starting five, like you know. And this is what I mean. Like you guys are just sweeping. Yeah, level, no. Like you guys are We're not though. This little super team thing. When I, guys, not, I really though, think guys. like. Like, I mean, we all see the same games, guys. Like, this is why I'm going back to that stuff. No one's five. saying you're not. If they, But I'm just saying, if they were a super team, they would have got um, the accolades to say they were. Yeah. No, I don't think that's true because I think – But the, the NBA best... sees it any other way, you know what I mean? I don't know. All I'm saying is you just – you brought up the accolades, but then we're sitting here talking about, again, your third, fourth, fifth scoring option, which is Derek Wright, Drew Holiday, and KP. Like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. That team is just – it's a super team, man. Let's just call it what it is. Yeah, they might not have the – what are you going to do? You're going to give their starting five an award each? Why not? They already have If they deserve it. They, they already they deserve have, it. They, I don't know what exactly the stat is. I think it's like they're the best net rating team, like third or something, of all time. How is yeah, that for they're award? a really good offense. Yeah, that's not dude. an award, though. That's, that's not an award. It is. Okay, well, yeah. let me ask you this. With this team constructed, you guys said this is their best chance to win. Is mm -hmm. it? Is it because of what's in front of them, or is it because how they're built? It's how a bit of both. Built. It's a bit of both. Because, I mean, you know, but last year, Miami didn't even stand a chance in the finals because of the Celtics. That get, series went seven. They didn't take care of business. Sure. They got beat up, and Jimmy ran out of gas. Like, that's what Jimmy always does. He runs out of gas in the finals. But it's like, this year, their path has been set easier, and it helps them out. But years past, they've had to go through a gauntlet just to get to the finals. I mean, Embiid, Giannis, Jimmy. Like, every time, they've had to earn it. So it's not like, you know, they want to talk about this year, it's such an easy path and whatnot. But, it's like, as if they haven't, like, done it before and went through it. Like, they've proved they're battle-tested. Like, Tam and Brown, as young as they are, who Jordan didn't get his first ring until about 28. LeBron didn't get his first ring until about 28. Steph Curry. Yeah, I bring I bring that stat well, up all the time, and I get I get totally abused for look it. Look at their no look at their teams time. compared to what they were playing on earlier. This their teams true. much better LeBron, overall. LeBron literally went free agency and built a super team. Curry got yeah, KD. that's why it took him so damn long. But like, look at what the Celtics are. They've gone to what the last six Eastern Conference Finals. I mean, it's 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 surprising they haven't won one yet. Are, are, well, when are your we... two best players are two of the youngest superstars, like, what do you but, expect? But, I mean, but you guys, have, it out. but Overall, you guys, like, some of the but, best, but like, you guys, so. teams. <laughs> that is true. Like, we're talking about you guys. Uh, we just said it. You guys always have a good team, and we're talking about you guys have sent teams to the finals with twenty eighteen player of the year. Okay, twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. We played LeBron. Yeah, That's we ran into Steph Curry. And Smart's been One hurt Steph every year in the playoffs since then. One Steph Curry, who had Andrew Wiggins as his second option. Like, that wasn't you know, the Draymond worst. Green was and the, and Draymond and Clay, I mean. And, and Clay on. went off. Like, he was old school Clay in that series. Let's not forget. Clay wasn't just the clay we see now the clay warriors was, showed up when they needed to show up in that i think series. Clay played one good game in that series i think I he did correctly. i think i think it was what game five game six i don't know but that game was it came down to curry and a wiggins again again another upset that nobody saw who would have thought that that warriors team would have beat the boston celtics that year i mean what do you want me to say man <laughs> <laughs> you know hey I, i'm just breaking it. it down for you know i'm but, just breaking it well, down and like you I, I just don't understand how, like, an award constitutes a super team. So, like, when the Warriors were there, everyone was like, yeah, that's a super team. They got the Monstars that were there. Did they did they win the MVP that year? Yeah, because they had like, two former. win the MVP? No. Yeah, two I'm pretty sure it was MVPs, yeah. Westbrook and then, like, they had the two. Giannis. They had the but, two players that won the MVP year right yeah. before that. Yeah. Not to and, mention they were a seventy. They were weren't they? NBA. Weren't they? Weren't they seventy? Weren't they seventy three and nine? What did they accomplish? Weren't they seventy three and nine? But what? What did they accomplish that year? Because that's what. The I'm sure Curry got. Year. I'm sure. I'm sure Curry got a uh, coach of the year. I'm sure they had three all stars on their team. I'm so sure they the had Celtics didn't get any all stars. They didn't get anybody in NBA first team, second team, third team. They don't have any NBA defenders. They don't have anything like that. There's just all a, NBA they're they're just a bunch of scrubs, set. apparently. But they only had two all-stars. Like, so how would that that's be? A, we had, yeah, we had two, two all-stars. All 
Wait, wait, know. when you, you guys, guys had you guys two all stars, like that you guys don't have player. a good team, but then you want to say you have a good team, which is crazy. I don't know that how is, you guys can say is, that argument. Uh, <laughs> I don't like honestly because you, know, you like, guys are trying to bring up the super team like it's a negative connotation. Because it's, 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 it's not. No, 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 it's, it's not. not. We're saying acting like it's bad because you guys haven't won anything with it, but we're just saying you guys have a great team. Almost. We haven't had a super team for the past six years, though. That's what's crazy to me. All right, go no, off. This, this year, go no. Off, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, it was. It's not that you guys have always had a super team. I think the super team comes this year with the roster you guys have, regardless of the awards. You can't sit here and tell me you guys do not have probably one of the best starting fives in NBA history. Because if you do, that's just a flat out lie. I mean, we all watched this season. You just brought up the Warriors' record for their super team. You guys have the best record this season for a reason. You guys have that net rating for a reason. It's not just a well-coached team with a bunch of scrubs put together that are playing hard. No, it's – you have, like – like I said, dude, it all boils down. Your third, fourth, fifth option on these guys would be arguably like a one or two on any other team. Yeah. And I think that just constitute like, that just well, proves that you're yeah. a super team. If you want to use it. I, I think, are you guys going to have the same – will you guys have the same narrative if the Celtics don't win the finals? Are you guys so going to say that they were a super team? I I, st- I, yeah. I do I truly do because I think at yeah. this point at Could this a, point you can't down. say you can't say that Tatum isn't arguably one of the best players in the league. I think we can all agree that, especially after the past three years, he's consistently there. He's consistently the guy in Boston, whatever. Jalen Brown's a max player, okay. So I think with us saying that it's a super team, I you guys say that everybody's picked the Wolves, this, that, or the other. Truly, yeah. Truly, I was talking to Chris off camera. I don't think – I think Boston is still – like you guys said, and I just think it's more of a matchup thing because we got Gobert. And Gobert is good at what he does up until – it's like a – you know how they say the old saying, styles make fights or whatever? Yeah, we yeah. can defend any other team except for that starting five that you guys put out there. And, like, yeah, it's the spacing, whatever. Everybody but it's also shoot. the fact that Drew Holiday is one of the best corner shooters in the league. You can look up that stat. KP is notorious for shooting the lights out. And Derek White, you said it, man. Dude, this year, sometimes I was telling Honda, that's your best player, bro. And you can't tell me otherwise because and, he's gone bananas. And, uh, we and love Tatum Dubai does get hate. We love We Dubai. can all admit Tatum gets mad hate in the media, but he's a damn good player. And same with Jalen Brown, bro. People he's, clown he's, him for not going left, but he, those two are damn good players. And, like, you can't. You can't deny that. But no, look, but I, I love this. Let's talk about this, though. Let's talk about this, though, because so, I love this. To, to wrap Tatum up my point, to wrap, sorry, but to wrap up my point, I think it's more of the instance if you guys go to the NBA Finals and you don't win, I think that's when you start to look at Tatum. Like, I'm sorry, but he's gonna take a hit if you guys don't win. Like, and it's it's not just Tatum specifically though. Like you say, I don't know, anybody else gets in there. Well, I don't know. I can't really say anybody else, but I think it's Tatum. But it's not because we hate Tatum. No, it's because you guys consistently put out these teams and you guys consistently get these tries to win a ring. And I don't think any other team really has so many tries, you know, other than the LeBrons of the world, the Steph Curry, the Nikola Jokic's. So those guys get into the finals every year and they're deemed that's a part of what makes them great. You guys, like how Chris said, you guys have been to the Eastern Conference Finals so many years. And I think that's, you know, at some point, if you can't get past that, like at that point, yeah, you're you're going to take a hit. You can't tell me that Tatum is still maturing because he's yeah, here. He's, he's, been only, here. he's exactly. only 19, bro. Dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and like that's I all said, I have with that. Yeah, it, just comes with, it, is, it just comes with maturity, like I said. It, and look at I, all the I don't know how much more experience that, he needs. Like, you can't I mean, rush he's that, been though. essentially like that one year with Kyrie. I'll give him maybe he didn't have the keys, but since he's since Kyrie's been out of there, it's been Tatum's team. Tatum has the keys. He's driving that thing. We ain't, we ain't gonna sit here and be like, yeah. he's he and eh, he's not really the leader, but he he's the best player. No, he's the he's the franchise player. That is him. Yeah, like, but let's talk if about if things this, don't though. go well this year. Yeah, you kind of have to be like, damn, like, what does it take for them to do something? Because no, it's kind of not. becoming like, what do we do here? Yeah, no, I completely understand your point, especially now, you know, the envelope's been raised with all the players that they've added this year. KP and Drew, you know, they have less excuses to win it. But at the end of the day, it's hard to to just rush this because you can't rush growth. I mean, people reaching the next level. There was a point where people said LeBron can't win it. 
You guys remember that. No matter what team he was on, he couldn't win it. Even his first year with that super team, they did not win it. He wasn't 28 until he won his first one. Tatum is 26. It's going to take some time. You can't rush however many people reach that next level. I still don't think Tatum's reached that next level where he will get to. Like, he's not in his prime yet. And so I think it's hard to just, like, all put it on him, like, right away, just say it's on him. Yeah, sure. Like, he's he's great. But there's so much pressure on him because he's gotten that far every year. But he's only going to get better. He hasn't reached his best yet. And, I mean, he's got a coach that's in his second year, was never a head coach before that, got thrown into the fire. I mean, a bunch of guys, this is their first year playing together. KP's never made a, a playoff run this big. Like, Holiday's got the most experience. Let me ask you this, Alan. So if they don't Hold win on. it, though, what's your honest assessment of this season? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the glasses off for this one. No, it'd be a disappointment for sure. It, as okay. a Celtics fan, you feel like they're ready, but at the end of the day, like you could be wrong because he's still got room to grow. He's still young. As a Celtics fan who's impatient and wants to see it, yeah. But in bird's eye view, when you see it from the big picture. The dude is still young. He's still going to figure it out. He's going to make mistakes still. He's not like where he's to the point where his basketball IQ is to the level like where LeBron got to eventually where he was unstoppable, had an answer for everything. But yeah, like, sure, you'd be disappointed. You really hope this is the year because they get close every year. But it is what it is if they don't. And I, I want to talk about like Tatum. We're all talking super team here, but like, it's funny how like everyone shits on Tatum. And then everyone's saying that D. White, D. White has got his flowers this year. I'll give you that. But before yeah. the year and leading up to this year, nobody was talking about KP. Like, nobody talked about him the whole offseason. Like, well, that's he because he's played in with Washington. I mean, yeah, he's on the Wizards. Nothing. I think everybody he was, was so, coming off that, that. I think he's coming off his best season with the Wizards. Yeah, he was averaging 24, but nobody talked about him or talked about like he was that great. Well, the team's you know? relevant. And he's always heard in the playoffs. Yeah. Like, Teams but like, yeah, the people and the people talking about Jalen Brown can't dribble with his left hand. He's not a number two option. You know what I mean? Like, and saying Tatum can't be the number one option on a winning team. Like, what what's going on here? All of a sudden, it gets it gets flipped all of a sudden. But as soon as they lose, it's it's reverting back to all the hate on those guys. But it's so funny how it gets flipped when it's convenient. I mean, Kendrick That's Perkins, Kendrick Perkins, Ernie's favorite Celtics Hall of Famer. Um, <laughs> you guys don't win a ring without K without. He, Sorry, he, See, he just said I it. hate that guy. He just said it. That I hate him. I don't care. Hondo hates him. Hondo hates him, and I don't know why. He he chose he chose the he chose the Pacers to win in seven. Like, did he really? He's being how how is that being truthful? To tell? Like, be honest <laughs> with yourself. That's what he thinks, bro. That's Perk, he's stupid. Like, that's what he thinks. That's Perk what he does it for the clicks. You know, Perk does it for the attention, bro. Nobody takes Perk's. That's takes, what like. He needs Dude, to turn his ring back in. He's do, get him that's out of here. Like, yeah. like classic. That's you have to have a give and take. You can't just have a sports show. Everyone just being like, yeah, yeah. That that's a good point. We all agree here. All right, <laughs> but he does in like a, a selfish minutes. way. But they do. Like, they all do agree. They all do agree. <laughs> he says outlandish shit just to get clicks. But when Pierce did it, it was like, oh, he's such a hater. Oh, he's terrible. What is he saying? But when Perk says it, it's like people just brush it off like it's nothing. Like nah, Perk just says shit to say shit. Like. He's known as a Celtics hater. That's all he is. Perk's just a he was hater a, in general, bro. I mean, he wanted a, to move the Pelicans. Like he is not a season. hater. Of, he's not a hater of Anthony Edwards and the the Timberwolves. <laughs> got a bunch of got a bunch of dogs. Hey, got a bunch of dogs over there in Minnesota. Real he was hating on Rudy. Rudy. He was hating on Rudy. Oh, for he like hates Rudy. doesn't. He hates Rudy. Who doesn't? <laughs> okay, so they like, like he's everybody like, hates Rudy. He love except Rudy. Us, love bro. Everybody hates Rudy except us. Yeah, so I mean, he's being fair. You know, he's being honest. Not just loving on the T Wolves. <laughs> I think. I think what uh, just first off to rebuttal back to you, Alan, when you said the twenty points or whatever with KP. See, and mm-hmm. I will tell you from experience, it's just because. The team's not relevant, bro. Like I said, dude, Cat is a certified 20 and 10 player. You can look at his career stats, but ain't nobody really gave a shit because we're always losing in Minnesota. Everybody knows Carl Anthony Towns, but he was the number one pick, offensively gifted, whatever, 20 and 10 player. That's hard to do, but he's there. But when you just don't win games, nobody really cares what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mean. but even when they got in the playoffs up until this year, he hadn't done much. Right, except all NBA. When in the world we live, we live in Nikola Jokic and Embiid. So right, it's tough. I just well, told you up, no, up until big, this year. 
He does, hasn't done much. He hasn't, but look at his teams. Well, what is he supposed to do? I Even mean, with his number teams, one. hey, you could be you, like, hey, and go drop 40, you know, and carry your team maybe. Yeah. As I, think one, scored, I think he scored 60 already. Next level. But Cal- so is Tatum. Congrats. That, next level that he never reached. <laughs> never right. reached that next level like he's expected. He's the number one pick. He's been better off as the number two option in Minnesota. Like he's he the number two guy. But who else has been – uh, who else has gone just taking their team like that? Not even LeBron could do it, okay? When you're drafting number one, it's no secret that you're going to a shit team. LeBron, you're telling me LeBron with that Cavs team, if he kept trying it, he was going to go somewhere? You said it himself. He had to leave to win a ring. So why does Cat not get the same, like, treatment or whatever? Yeah, it took another well, star. It is, takes everybody. LeBron would make star. the playoffs as a number one seed. Cat wouldn't even make the playoffs. Yeah, And he has it, right. Well, I mean, again, what but like, one number one like, seed on a bad team does, though, without any hope? What, who's no, this? All I'm saying is Cat was expected the as the number one guy. <laughs> yeah, but he's the one who brought LeBron Come on. in comparison with Cat. <laughs> all right. Well, okay, he, he's, you know, he, said, he said he said it. You know, hey, you get Jeff number one, you're expected to lead a team. Well, yeah, sort of, but it just it's not that easy to just get draft number one automatically. You're going to have success. No, if you get draft number one, you're going to a shit team. Look at Wendy, bro. This. Everybody Probably knows this. The only untouchable player in the league. His team and, has. And yeah, and again, to defend Cat, you can say that they've tried to help him. We have, but everybody we've put around him, we've got rid of because they're not good. Like, you know, well, you who's put the him common up, denominator and all that. It's Cat, right? <laughs> but but now we put somebody else and now it works. Who can actually drive the car and it works. Yeah, it's just which is which is fine. Man. Like I said, I don't know any other team who's just winning, having success, but just being the number one, just having one All Star caliber player. I I don't no, know. I'm that saying, team. yeah, well, Cat, Everybody yeah, sure, not his rookie year, but we we're expecting him to that. What is he in like his seventh year now? Like his sixth? Like he's older than Jason Tatum. Yeah, we've expected him to be doing this already, like to be one of the best big men in the league. And okay, he right. He's been the number two guy on this team, and Wembenyama, you bringing him up. He's going to be in the playoffs next year. Whether he's the only good player on that team or not, he's going to carry them to the playoffs. Well, let me ask you this. You keep saying that he hasn't had success up until now, but what roster has Cat had where you would say, okay, he has a chance? And don't worry, I'll wait. No, I'm saying it doesn't matter what roster is around you. If you're number one pick and you're expected to be that guy, you get your team at least to the playoffs. Whether you're going to go far or not, and you at least will your team there. I mean, Luca did it. Luca did do it. Oh, oh, okay. Look, I'll give you guys this. <laughs> but, okay, I mean, look, technically, Luca basically... wasn't the number one overall pick. Yeah, he was, and he still did it. I but, but, again, okay, but so again, you're, <laughs> you're doing a real small. <laughs> yeah, <I'm going. laughs> again, this all reverts back to did individually. Yeah, he's been great. Has he been able to carry a team? No. But is that a knock on him, dude? That's like some superstar level stuff that we're talking. I'm not. That's what I'm he's not here. To be. That's I'm what he's not. Number one. Right. Pick. Okay. So so yeah, we've expe- but. We're not sitting here now saying he is the number one pick. We, we've we gone through, as expectations have told us, yeah, there's a better dude on our team. So, by default, he's the number two. I, I so think we've you all your kind expectations. Of, we don't lower our expectations, though, because why can't he be the number two on the team and still be great? He just he just went toe-to-toe with the MVP is what I'm telling you. I'm not you. saying that, like, we're who's, not who's expecting him. He's really good, but is he great? That's the question. As a number one pick, he's expected okay. to be great. Okay, let me ask like you this. His first few years, he was looking like it, but he never took those next steps. That's my point. It's like, Cat's never been bad. He was always really good to start. Like, and that's why we expected him to be great, like MVP type player, great, because he was on that trajectory. And then he just kind of like teeled off, like with his entitlement, thinking like he should have been awarded as such, or thinking he was the best, saying that there's uh, people talk about a big three in Minnesota, like him and Gobert and Anthony Edwards. And I've never heard anyone say that, but he, he said it. And it, it just like we expected him to like keep going, and he just flattened out. Like he's had all the well, talent in the world, but it's like what's the, okay, okay. So that's what I'm saying. So then at that point, so you can say that you're saying that uh, he's not as good as we thought he was, and so far you are correct. Like because like how you said, mm-hmm. I agree. If he really is one of those guys that are just phenomenal, great, the ones that can lead their team, he should have taken his team to the playoffs. I do believe that, and I agree. And have we been disappointed? Yes, but at the same time, I'm just 
I can't get over the fact that, dude, Wolves haven't been relative. I mean, we haven't been relevant until now for a reason. Like, there's nothing good over there. And I think he was more like a prisoner of that situation. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that Wembenyama is better than Cat. Well, I'm not going to sit here and say Cat's better than Wembenyama because he's not. No, Wemby is a generational talent. <laughs> so he can do that maybe. But, no, you know, what I'm more speaking of is this. Look, if Cat wins the finals this year, are you still going to have the same stance on him where you're saying we're waiting for him to be great? Or we'll are you going to say him. we'll have to see how he plays in the finals? I mean, if Anthony Edwards still breaking his back to carry his, his ass to the finals, I mean, like, and winning. Well, he hasn't like... been all, all we've, if we've been watching the same playoffs, Cat has been playing great. I mean, it's, you can't even sit here and tell me he hasn't been, he, he, hasn't... he has not been that consistent. He's been great at times, he's shown flashes of it. But at this point in your career, you're hoping for some consistency. Or at least show we can be great every night. He just you didn't built, just ask. He just, you didn't arguably, just ask KG. You didn't just ask KG to just show up every other night. Arguably, Cat just kind of we're the reason why we're in this position. Like I said, how you said it too. We got off to a slow seven, start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and what I will tell you again, up until now, I think what I've been seeing in the media is everybody's starting to pay attention to Cat. So again, I will sit here and say. Even if he gets taken out, okay, even let's say we don't make the finals, the good thing about us is we're new to the scene. We're not going to catch the slack that the Boston Celtics would if you where guys it, did. Thank where you. it takes. No, no, just like, let, let's the, be real. Let's be real. Where, like how where you just it, said. Like how you just hey, said. But you're not going to catch the slack and you're going to feel good about being there because you're getting the experience you need. Like I always tell you, it takes multiple runs, experience in the games, in the playoffs to do what you need to do. It does, but you got to look at it. We're coming from here, going all the way up to the mountain. This is what I'm win. telling you. That's what but I'm the, saying. The is, difference, if the you difference win, but if us, you lose, if you lose, okay, no one. The difference in Boston is what I'm telling you is you guys are always here. You're here. You're here. You're here. You're here. You're here. You just can't get to here is the difference what I'm telling you. You can say it's experience, but. Yeah, 2018, we lost to LeBron. You guys are young. You guys are young. I'll give you that. And your age tells you you're young. With playoff experience, I don't think anybody looks at the Boston Celtics. But it comes with aging as well. It comes with aging as well. LeBron's IQ is out of this world now, especially after he won his couple of championships in Miami. You can't just yeah, go out there. Some and... time. It took some so... time, man. And he was making deep runs every year too, just like Tatum is. Like, yeah, LeBron even before even that. before he went to Miami, he was having deep runs with Cleveland. He went it to the finals in the second teams, year. Though. He went to the finals in his second bad year. Teams. They they were bad teams, but you have teams. to have the experience. I mean, yeah, at, at a certain point, but I mean, at, at what point do you So say, at a certain point but, LeBron's experience didn't help him in the finals? No, his I'm deep saying, playoff runs is going to help yeah, him. You have the experience, but what what do you look at Tatum and go, okay, so if he doesn't get it this year, he doesn't get it next year. Th then after these next three years, then he has enough experience. It's like he has to go to yeah. nine Eastern I'd, Conference Finals. I'd say, yeah, I'd say if he doesn't, if he doesn't win in the next two years, then that narrative is fair. If he doesn't win one within the next two years, then you can say, yeah, Tatum can't do it. He's not the guy until he shows it. But I think this year, I know everyone's going to panic and think that they have to win now. I mean, the Celtics have re-upped on it. They're running it back at this team no matter what. They've extended everybody except for D. White, which is kind of the most important guy on the team if they need to extend. But but it's like you're not expecting them. Everyone else is expecting them to win it this year. But at the end of the day, big picture, it's like not the end of the world. He's still got 10 years left and hasn't even hit his prime yet if they don't win it this year. But who's to say that this isn't your guys' ceiling? Who's to say it gets better? You don't. Yeah, know like that. who? Who do you guys need to get better than? You know what I mean. You guys have been fighting with West teams, but like, what? Where do you see the weakness in your team? When you're two, like you guys have when you're two best players, team. when your two best players, your two best are your youngest superstars. Are two max players, by the way. Yeah, but they're two youngest superstars. Like they're the two youngest in their starting five. It's gonna take some time. When you're leaning solely, no matter what, how good. Drew Holiday, how good Porzingis and how good White are. At the end of the day, they go as far as JB and JT go, and they're still young. JT's only JB's only twenty seven, I believe. 
and they're not in their prime yet. So it's like, obviously, the better that they get, the less that they're going to need around them to go further. That's just the way it works. I mean, Curry, you look at him. They could kind of take away a lot of their role players. He couldn't have won his first ring without a, a Sean Livingston, but he ended up winning another one without him because he hit that that part where he didn't need that other role guy, you know, the extra guys. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, so he also got they're, Kevin Durant on his team when he won that well, yeah, but one. Yeah, but – And then, if, won, I mean, if you want to look at 22, you guys said no one was very good in that series and Curry won yeah, it. But he was that good at that point. You know what I mean? Exactly. Where he was in his prime I'll and he was unstoppable. That. And I but think JT and JB, it's inevitable that they get to that point where they get Whoa. so good, where anybody around them is going to be better. Well, at weird. that point, you're talking about generational players. Which, I was going to say, you're yeah, talking about yeah. something change the league. Yeah, you're talking yeah. about JT. You, know, you guys don't think he's that? You guys don't think I don't he's a think he changed player? the league in any way. Like, if you're comparing his talent to, to Steph's, I'd say, like, Steph's here on the totem pole. JT's here because Steph changed the game. Steph yeah, he changed, changed the, game the game by shooting threes. Yeah, but Tatum, he makes everybody around him better. The attention he draws. That's the biggest thing. Like LeBron. So, I mean, he doesn't need all that Steph talent. Draw attention, though. Like people started. That's, guarding no, that's two, exactly three feet that's exactly my point. That's exactly my point. Is when you have more attention on him, it makes everybody's job a lot easier because of how good he was. Just the fact of how good he was. LeBron, how much attention he draws. Tatum is going to be yeah. a generational guy where. The better he gets and the more attention he draws, the more people are going to be open. Like, it's going to open up opportunities for the role players. They're going to look a lot better than what they are. Like, they're only going to get better, JD and JT. So, but that, okay. So, like, if you compare, I guess, and I guess maybe Steph, maybe the kind of difference here. But, like, if you're if you're comparing, like, LeBron and Tatum, and if you're looking like, okay, LeBron lost his first series, yeah, but you put Tatum on that series and you put LeBron on the, cat, on the Celtics, I think, you know, that's different. That's different. That's just different. And then if you're well, going to yeah, sit here and say, like, well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to sit here and say Tatum's a generational talent, comparing him to some of the greatest of all times in their positions. Like, exactly. LeBron, not one, not maybe, maybe not one, but he's two, right, on a lot of people's lists. Steph is considered uh-huh. maybe the greatest point guard of all time. And so mm-hmm. we're comparing Tatum to that. I don't, if he's that, he already wins a ship with the teams he's had, in my opinion. In my opinion, but, because true. he's, that is he's true. so good. He's if he's LeBron, if he's did he win with Miami? Steph. Miami's first year with Miami with the super team, he didn't win it. Yeah, and people talk about how that's like the biggest blunder of LeBron's career. But and yeah, did, like people point. say Obviously, like there's, 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 he wasn't gonna do it. it didn't it didn't happen until he reached twenty eight. Tatum's not at that age yet. He's not in his prime yet. We don't know how good this guy can be. You don't Wait, know. But did did LeBron go to the last? Seven, eight Eastern Conference Finals before that, like how Tatum has. Yeah, and it took him that to win a finals. He went to those. He Experience. went to the, all those conference finals, really, with that Cavs LeBron? team. Yeah, yeah, but he had all that experience. He didn't win it, did he? And also, teams weren't as stacked as they are now. I'm calling this guy out right now. I'm looking this up. Look it up, and I also want you to pull up that Cleveland roster, whatever year you want, and put it compared to the last three rosters Tatum has had for Boston because this is getting really. Oh, interesting. you mean you mean the 2022 when um, Williams was hurt, or how about 2018 when JT Wait. was, I believe, 20 years old and Kyrie and Gordon Hayward were hurt. Yeah, Ky- Kyrie. Or how about how about how about the year that JT had it going with Marcus Smart, Evan Turner, rookie Robert Williams. And Grant Williams against Kyrie, James Harden, and KD, and he Kyrie solely won a off. game. He he solely won a game by himself. Wasn't Kyrie coming off a championship run? And he got hurt. He was hurt. Well, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> okay, okay. So now we're putting injuries. The injuries happen, though. What are we talking about? These he guys... was a rookie. Tatum. Okay, was okay, a okay, okay. I'll give you the rookie. And this is I'm not, this I'm is not, what not, I mean, look, look, though. This is this is what I'm trying to the. The playoff experience plays plays into it does play a hand. I I don't think anybody comes in the league sore and ready to win a championship. But that's very rare. Probably will never happen unless your name is Victor Wembanyama. What I will not concede is to tell me that the past three years fall under that same excuse because they don't. Ever since Imi Idoka built that team, whatever way he had to, oh, you guys man. have been arguably one of the best teams in the league, and you can't tell me that's not true. Also, yeah. LeBron didn't go to all the conference finals. He lost in the semis a couple times. 
So, I mean, yeah, Tatum had more yeah, experience. Tatum, that, by definition. Yeah, Tatum lost Tatum in the conference out. semis a couple times, too. Yeah, I, I don't see the Winston East. Conference a lot, though. Six out of eight years. I'm sure that's, that's what awesome. LeBron was doing. I'm sure LeBron was doing the same thing before LeBron he went, left. LeBron had a finals appearance. Lost. He lost two times. LeBron did. Did not qualify. He, did not LeBron. qualify. Semifinals. And look finals, at the teams LeBron was playing against too. Because before the super what, team era, conference, second conference. Because before the oh, super team era, everybody was spread out. Two. Superstars two. were spread went out all twice. around the league. Went twice. LeBron? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his the time finals? in Cleveland. Before his first time, yeah, he only went to the Eastern Conference Finals twice. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, he still didn't win it. Yeah, because so he had a bum ass team, and he didn't get the experience. Or did he run in? Either, or though. did hey? That's or did he run? Though. Or did he run into experience. better teams? Because Jason Tatum, if he's going to the Conference Finals, that means his playoff runs are deeper. This is what I mean by his age doesn't accurately represent. But it does the though. Playoff games he's been through though. Whether does, you're 19, though. whether you're 20, whether you're 21, if you're going to the Eastern Conference Finals, minimum, minimum, that's what for a 12 game playoff game. Okay, right there. okay. So repeatedly, what I'm saying mm -hmm. is Jason Tatum is kind of like on a speed run in terms of this. But playoff. when you got key, when you got key parts of your team that's been there all year that get hurt, yeah, it's gonna kind of be. Bring your like team Jimmy down. Butler with the heat, but you guys don't want to give Jimmy that credit, damn it. You told me that doesn't matter. Okay, so it does Jimmy matter when you're your best player. They wouldn't have won, dude. Okay, that, like, okay, but it makes a difference, does it not? It makes a difference. Yeah, they would have won one more game. Maybe. You don't know games. that because, like would, They would have. Jimmy gives them one. That, you're right. You're no, you're right. You Jimmy is a game changer. Know. He would have gave them one more game, and that's it. You don't know that. Dude. That team, that dude, yeah. that team got blown out by 20 plus every single game. Yeah, you're right. Jimmy would have gave him one more game. Great job. Congratulations. Like, if you look at pass, you can't sit here and tell me you don't think Jimmy Butler can beat the Celtics. So then Indiana in, so then Indiana's Indiana's know. run is is isn't anything neither then, apparently. People might say it would be a fluke, maybe. Yeah, I can see it too because they just People got past the fluke. Knicks without a what OG was hurt, Jalen Brunson, their best player, again, hurt. What this do you want them to do? You want, no, no, you want them to sit Tyrese Halliburton? You want them to sit him to make it fair, to make it even? I mean, like, no, again, I'm real. telling you, it, I mean, it, we're not discrediting it. We're telling you, play who's in front you of you. You just right. said it's a fluke. You just said you were just because well, you asked him. You said if Pacers win, is it gonna <laughs> be what about the I so mean, so then so then last year, last year's NBA champions, the Nuggets were a fluke too because they didn't play anyone above uh four seed. And they won the run. NBA championship, though. What are we talking about? But it's a fluke, though, because they didn't play anyone. Or let's go back to 20 – when was it that the the Bucks won? 21? I guess their championship didn't count either because they played so, uh, okay, a Nets so team that was injured, too. The Lakers run didn't count. The Sun – or the – Yeah, so what are we doing? Warriors it's only – it's only – exactly. What are we doing? It's only that the Celtics – all of a sudden that the Celtics are you playing guys, bum teams. We're going to bring it up. He at, is it is it gonna be like yeah. a Mickey Mouse? Champ? There's an argument to be made, but in reality, so every championship is a Mickey Mouse run. The, well, um, what I'm saying <laughs> is, okay, <laughs> look, he adds. I'm like adding. He adds. Legit run. Hey, okay, look, like, what I'm trying to tell you. A fluke? What I'm trying to tell you is these playoffs because you kept saying, "Oh, Kyrie got hurt. This dude got hurt." You're doing the same thing that I'm doing. That you're telling me, "What are we doing?" Okay, so if we're gonna establish that injuries are a part of playoffs, then don't. I think you know? it, I think it's a little different when you're putting it all in a rookie, Jason Tatum, who still went to the Eastern Conference Finals without the two best players. We're just giving you context. We're not saying that's the which is what we're player. doing. Which we're is giving we're no, doing. but you're saying that oh, he has to win. He has to yeah. win. He's getting there. Yeah, he's getting there, but he's still young and he still has injuries. He's doing it with injuries. I mean, the healthiest team is always going to win. I mean, I don't know. I mean, were the Warriors the healthiest team when they won that series? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Which one? Against the Celtics. Yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah, they were. Robert Williams had been missing games multiple, all, all year, all playoffs. Yeah. Um. Let's, let's I, end it I, here. I, go ahead. I, I was go just going to end it on with uh, the – I just think – I mean, injuries are a part of playoffs either way. 
we yeah. bring it up. We've brought it up both ways. I'm not gonna say and yeah. say we have, and we brought it up both I think ways. Both, but I think both sides definitely did. At yeah. the end of the yeah. day, injuries are a part of play. You play who's in front of you, but the context yeah. eh, does it matter? Maybe if you really break it down, you could say every, everybody's had yeah. luck, is what I'd call it. Yeah, everybody needs yeah. a little yeah. luck. It needs a little bit of it, luck. A lot of luck. If you want to win it, a lot of luck. And I'll just end this right here by saying. Let's let's retouch on this when Tatum wins the finals this year. And I want to hear the narratives around him after he does it at 26 years old. I'd, yeah, I'd you should have been. Yeah, yeah. I would give him his props. I would give him his props. All right. I look forward to that day. And I look forward, I Me hope. Me I know Not only for the fact that Ernie is a Timberwolves fan and it's going to be a lot of fun if we play him. No, so if we play the Timberwolves and we win, it's on his head 24-7 for a whole year and that's the bottom line hey i and wish that's I could, the bottom line i wish i could the say the same line. thing but if the wolves be i'm not gonna see this guy for a year we all know he goes in the and, that's the, and, and that's the bottom line too and that's the bottom line i wish i could say the same thing and that's the bottom line too i ain't even gonna deny it i ain't even gonna deny it that's the bottom line too to. you don't need to because we all know but i'm gonna be on your head it's all right. Know. You'll be ducking it too, dude. I'll be, when the I'll last be time I checked, when the Panthers lost the Super Bowl, you were ducking everyone that day too. So that's all right. I ain't the only one. I ain't the only one. Looking over my notes, I don't see it. But let that always get the word. <laughs> damn guy. it. Okay. All right. Let's close it out with this. This is a great episode, guys. Obviously, we're looking forward to the finals a little too much because Western Conference and Eastern Conference finals haven't wrapped up yet, but we will be meeting up in a week and see how those series are going. I bet they're going to be great. It's going to set up a great finals no matter where those conference finals are. So appreciate you guys for joining. I'll see you all next week.